Yo, what's up guys, Azeros here today for a um, tutorial uh, on to how, how to create indents and offsets in your work. So if we just get started straight away, um, get your background, unlock it. Uh, so you could use this for anything like YouTube backgrounds, anything really. Uh, say if you're just doing it for grey, maybe darker grey, um, like this, what you can do just create a new layer, come over to your marquee tool just literally create that just create a like quite a thin rectangle, fill it with any colour no matter at the moment then what you can do is just go colour overlay click on your colour overlay and just colour pick your background colour click OK then what you want to do is go to in not in a shadow, sorry, drop shadow distance is zero size of about 35 maybe and a spread of about 30% to 35% maybe you can bump the size up to whatever you want I'm going to keep mine around 40 depends on the size of your canvas as well so you want to create a new layer with the layer that you've just put all the effects on just click on it with holding control press control E to merge them and what you want to do is you want to come over here and you just want to marquee tool out this and just press delete so then you see you've got that so you just want to delete the two edges as well like so and then what you can do here is just make them longer and there you have it a little kind of indent thing but if you control J for duplication flip vertically and then you can do that and have two and then you can see it looks indented um, you can just put text in there if you wanted to like that simply um, merge them center them if you wanted to center that as well yeah, something like that. Um, what you can also do is if I just undo all this, this, these here you can also just flip them vertically, both of them, and place them in the right space, like so. And then you've created an offset straight from that, so it looks like it's above the canvas now rather than below it. So you'd have something like that. It creates quite a good effect for YouTube backgrounds sometimes. Um, anything really anything you want it for so yeah that's that's the indent and offset thing so that's this tutorial over guys thanks for watching hope I helped you um, few, m some more content coming soon I should have another intro up maybe well not another intro an intro up maybe an animation here and there um, and a few edits uh, been working on quite a few things recently so that's why I haven't been uploading but I've been working on quite a few things so I've got this to upload and I've got another upload as well so they'll be uploaded as soon as possible anyway cheers bye